Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing another rebuild. Today we're going to be rebuilding Crystal Palace as Patrick Vieira because, I mean, they're doing pretty decent at the moment. So I thought, why not just make them even better? And we start off this career by promoting our youth talent, Taylor Drew, to the senior squad. And our first signing is already in. We bought Timo Livramento from Southampton for 8.4 million pound and our second signing is melvin parella parella from brazil coming over for 15 million pounds and our third signing is eva nielsen joining us from porto for say jesus from porto for a lot of money 28 million pounds and our final signing is Simikan coming from rb leipzig for 36 million pounds and these are all the players that we've sold. I mean, it's quite a lot, but that's what we do in these videos. We just sell almost the entire team and we buy a few players with that money. And after all that, this is what the team looks like. Guy is still being captain and I think we could perform really well in the Premier League. And halfway through the season, I mean, it isn't great. 13th in the league, but I mean, it's not really that bad either. And after not doing anything else, in the January transfer window, we decided to skip forward and we finished 10th in the league, which I mean, is an improvement from halfway through the season and it's pretty decent in the first season, I'll be honest. And the FA Cup was won by Tottenham. I mean, really unre unrealistic to be honest. Carabao Cup was won by Liverpool and we move on to the second season. And our first signing of the second season is Aaron Ramsdale for 47 million pounds for Arsenal. And our second signing in the second season is Pedro Gonzalez joining us from Sporting Port Club de Portugal for 51 million pounds. And like I said many times before, I won't be showing every single free agent that we sign because most of them will just be on the bench. And we sold a lot of players this, this transfer window just so we could hopefully get a better placement in the league. And with the team looking like this, I do believe we could potentially get european football this season and halfway through the season we do really well and be, like we're fourth in the league which is really good and i didn't expect that at all to be honest but we do fail to keep a hold of that position and we fall down to fifth place in the league which i mean i'm still not all too uh sad about because it's still a really good place i thought we would be like seventh this season and fifth is still really good the fa cup this season was won by Liverpool and the Carabao Cup was won by none other than Chelsea. So we move on to the third season and maybe we'll get Champions League this season. But as you saw before, Nuno Mendes is going to be our first signing of the third season. And he's coming to us from Barcelona for £63 million. And this has to be the club record signing. I don't know if like who they bought if it wasn't if it isn't Crystal Palace most most paid for player Flahovic joining us from Juventus for 143 million pounds and another player joining us for a lot of money is Eduardo Camavinga joining us for 60 million pounds and we keep buying players for a lot of money because our fourth signing this season is Masrawi for 50 million pounds and we don't show every free agent play signing but we do show this one because Bonucci is joining us on the I mean, I just had to show him, and I'm also going to show all of the players that we solved, almost our entire back line. I mean, not really, but Mitchell and Livermento being sold, and we also sold Eva Nielsen for about 100, 160 million pounds. So let's just go to the halfway point of the season, and we're fourth in the league, which is really good. And let's just take a look at how we're doing in the Europa League. And we easily win our Europa League group, so let's just skip to the end of the season, and hopefully... We can play a Europa League final. And we do get our first Champions League spot for next season. We finished fourth in the league, which I mean, is just great. The FA Cup was won by West Ham though. Carabao Cup was won by none other than Liverpool on penalties. And we haven't won anything yet because the Europa League was won by Wolfsburg. So... Let's just skip to the next season and hopefully we'll finally win something. And we try to win something this season because we do sign Frankie de Jong. And I mean, he's going to get number 21. Like, I don't know why the game gave him number 7, but doesn't matter. 
and we bought him for 162 million pounds. Another player joining us for a lot of money is Upamecano for 80 million pounds coming from Bayern München. And another free agent that I had to show is Daniel, Daniel Parejo for the bench. And we signed one more player, but for a bit less cash, we signed Andrade from AC Milan, a youth academy player that just had a great rating, 84 rated for 48 million pounds. And these are all the players that we've sold or loaned out this season. Pedro Gonzalez is leaving us after a few seasons and Jairo Riedewald also leaving us together with Dukure and Gai both leaving us for a lot of money. And after these signings, this is what the team looks like. Masro is 85 rated, but he's injured at the moment. So that's why I'm showing you this. It's a great team and I think we could potentially win the Champions League this season. And we could also win the Premier League this season because halfway through the season, we're actually first in the league, which, I mean, I didn't expect, I'll be honest. And in the Champions League, we easily go through to our group. And that means that we could potentially win it this season. So let's skip to the end of the season and see if we've done it. But before we get to the end of the season, we need to play a big match. We're in our first cup final. It's the Carabao Cup. So nothing really special, but it's still a final that needs to be played. So we could win our first, I mean, let's be honest, our first trophy in this rebuild. And I really hope we do. And we get the first chance with Flaovic playing Olise through. I mean, is it Olise or Olise? It's a great little play from him. Let's just be honest. Like, don't care what his name is. And I accidentally skipped the goal. But 1-0 is the first score. Andrade, great little feat from Andrade. Good signing, to be fair. Portuguese left winger, Eze, 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 it's Eze. Plays Andrade, Andrade too, and Andrade just puts it in the corner. Great goal. I mean, it's like only our second chance of the game, and we're already 2-0 in front. And with that goal, we win our first trophy of this rebuild. We win the Carabao Cup. And, I mean, let's just hope we can win a lot more before this video ends. It's a great starting point for us to win trophies. And, let's just say, I'm happy that we did win. I mean, it's, that's, that, that's, that's just very clear. Like, everyone is happy when you win something. I'm just going to go on. But, we didn't play good enough to keep our position in first in the league. Chelsea win the league with, with a 5 points difference, so... Yeah, we fell off, but it doesn't matter. FA Cup, I mean, I don't really care because, well, we didn't win it. Liverpool won the FA Cup. We, of course, won the Carabao Cup, which, of, I mean, it's a bigger trophy in my opinion. But, of course, we won the Carabao Cup against Leicester, so that's great. And in the Champions League, we didn't go through to the final, but Dortmund win. So let's just go to the next season and hopefully... We'll get our chance then and well we signed a couple of great players this season and i don't know why the game keeps giving players number seven while olisa has the number seven but we do sign weirds from tottenham for 147 million pounds and we also signed another german with bauman joining us for free to sit on the bench and we do sign a new goalkeeper for 125 million pounds we signed donnarumma from paris saint germain and these are the players that we sold or brought in i mean ramsdale gone and as as a gone like a couple of players from our starting line gone but nothing too special and with them leaving Simicon is now captain of course and this is how the team looks like well let's just skip to the halfway point of the season and halfway through the season again we're second in the league with Chelsea still being above us which I don't really like and once again we get out of our Champions League group and that of course that means that we could potentially win the Champions League this season but we'll have to find out when we skip to the end of the season and at the end of the season we're, we're once again second in the league losing to Chelsea once again which is just painful it's pretty painful because I wanted to win the league in this career mode and it doesn't seem like it's happening anytime soon the fa cup was won by leicester city so they do they're doing great in cups and the carabao cup was won by chelsea but we 
are in the Champions League final against Dortmund. So we're going to finish this rebuild by playing that final. And Patrick Vieira could win his second Champions League this time being a manager while doing so. But sadly, because of an injury, we can't use Vlahovic this game. And I mean, he's one of our best players, so that's a real big loss. We have to play Gil up top at the striker position. I mean, it's not all, it's not that good, to be honest. But I mean, it's all right. We, we can play with this. Can Crystal Palace get their chance and become... One of the teams in England that won the Champions League. Hopefully they can. Dortmund have won the Champions League though. Last season they won it. So it will be a big, big challenge for our boys in blue and red. And we don't start off great with Simikan losing the ball to Beto. And Beto almost scoring the first goal in, in like within 10 minutes. Nuno Mendes now on the ball. Sees Andrade run. Beautiful pass to Andrade. Andrade with a lot of pace against Deloy. Andrade keeps going, shoots, and he scores the first goal in this final. Nine minutes after their first chance, we completely ruined their hopes. Hopefully, I mean, I, I, it's still 1-0, so we, they could still come back. But we do get that long-awaited Champions League final goal. And not that long after... Olise plays the ball to Weirds. Weirds with a beautiful shot, but a good save from Kobol to deny us our second goal. And from that beautiful save from Kobol, Frank de Jong will whip a corner in to Simikan. Simikan misses the ball completely, and Andrade picks it up and just tosses it on the crossbar. Beautiful goal by our Portuguese left winger. And I mean, I don't know what to say really because that goal has been. It's just perfect. That goal is perfect. It's a perfect goal. Underneath the crossbar. Top right corner. Over every single defender. And over the keeper. Beautiful goal. And once again we make a mistake. In our defense. Beto. Once again. Getting the ball off of us. And Bino Gittens. I don't, still don't know how to say his name. Plays to Tahoot. And Tahoot. That's, that's a really good skill. That's a really, really good bit of skill. And... I mean, the finish wasn't great, but it was a good goal. That makes our second goal not even really count all that much. And another corner from, Kam from Kamavinga for Crystal Palace. Frankie de Jong heads it. And it's again a great save by Kobo, who's... I mean, he's really trying his hardest. Like, let's give him some credit because he's really doing a good job. This is a great save. Not that long after, though. Weirds plays it to Gil. Gil turns around. Back to Weirts. Weirts with a great turn and a beautiful finish in the bottom corner to finish off the game and make it 3-1 to Crystal Palace in the 79th minute of the game. And that goal seals the deal for Crystal Palace and we win Crystal Palace's first Champions League title ever. And I'll be honest, this has been a really quick video. Like it hasn't taken that long to do. So, I'll have to say that I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy about it. We've, won we've gone and put together one of the best teams I've built in a while. I mean, it's sad that Vlaovic didn't get to play in the final, but he's still a Champions League winner in our eyes. And what I also really love about this team is that we kept a lot of Crystal Palace players that, that we started with and kept them... Till like the later seasons of this rebuild. We still have Olise in the squad. He's the only one left. Simikan is now our French captain. And he lists the Champions League for Crystal Palace. As their first time Champions League win. I want to thank you all for watching. Let me know what teams I should do next. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you around. Goodbye.